now we're live. What's up, y'all? Jimmy me wrap up Fancy here. Welcome to another episode of Fancy A's Fantastic Shout Out. Long time no see. How y'all been doing? Sorry, it's been a very long time. It's just, um, I had some life updates going on for the last six to four months or so. It's It's been that long, but I am back to make another episode for y'all that y'all want to hear. So, anyway, here I am, y'all. Here I am. There's me doing another episode for y'all. So, here are the important topics that we're going to discuss. Gun violence at Garfield High School, my life updates on why I haven't made episodes recently, and my recent trips, and much more. So, anyway, let's go talk about those topics. But before we do, I'm going to tell you guys what have happened and what's been bothering me. I've been working three jobs. I've been working with City Light, Alley Universal, and Seattle Manors. I work three jobs. That's why y'all haven't heard from me. That's why you haven't seen updates from me. It's because I've been working three jobs and I'm trying to make up the money I lost. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, other than that, life has been good, but life has been stressful recently and much more. So, anyway... I'm going to tell you guys about what happened at Garfield High School, and I'm sure y'all are aware of what happened at Garfield High School recently. Three things that kind of, like, grinds my gears. Back in, like, somewhere in 2023, like in November, Garfield High School is in lockdown because someone entered the school with a gun and started shooting. And all the students who are in lockdown... They're just trying to, like, you know, running for their lives and everything. What is going on, Garfield? What is going on there? People are going crazy, and they don't they don't know what they're thinking. Why they brought in unexpected people with guns and start shooting during the lockdown? Garfield needs to get their act together, and the school district needs to do something about it. And they need to, like put in more safety concerns, and so it doesn't happen again. Man, that kind of made me look scared and kind of pissed me off of what happened at Garfield High School last year. Students deserve safety, no matter what. They need to deserve way more protection, more concerns, more safety, and much more. Garfield team couldn't do anything about it back then. This is BS. This is crappy BS right there, y'all. I'm telling you. I hate it when they couldn't come up with a safety plan and much more. They should hire more security guards and more patrol so they, they can keep gun violence from happening. You know what I mean, y'all? I am very upset and angry and disappointed of how it was last year. And I'm telling you guys, I know a few family mem members I that went to Garfield High School back in the old days when there was no gun violence back then. And now, there is. And in March 2024, guess who was almost one of the victims and guess what happened? I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. Ezra, the people that I've known, was waiting at the bus stop for his school bus to come and those two people driving fast up by the bus stop and a guy with the red hair pull out his gun and aim it at Isra and the other student. My God. That is kind of freaked me out a bit. So that shooter started shooting towards Isra when he started to run for his life and drop his body. And he almost got shot at. And matter of fact, when Isra saw the, his school bus arrived... He started running over and the shooter was pointing the gun towards Ezra and trying to aim at him. But guess what? Ezra survived. But not the student though. The student wasn't lucky enough. She ran towards the school bus and got shot in the leg. Uninspiring, disrespectful. What is going on? <sighs> that shooter doesn't know what he's doing and causing safety problems for other students by Garfield. This has gone too far, y'all. 
this has gone too far and it needs to stop and end right away. And the school board needs to do something about it or else Isra should have get transferred to another school since that happened. And his mother was very concerned about his safety when the gun violence became an issue by Garfield High School. This has gone too far, y'all. You know what I mean? This is needs to stop and much more. I'm getting a little frustrated about it. And I'm sure y'all heard about this one student that didn't survive from the recent gun violence shooting. I don't know his name. I forgot his name. But he was one of the star basketball players or football players. And he tried to break up the fight. It was back in June 2024 before school ends. He was trying to break up the fight. He was also shot too. He, he got shot this time actually. And he did not survive and he died. I am so heartbreaking and upset that happened back in June almost two months ago. And I am very concerned if Israel will end up going back to Garfield this year and school season's coming up in September, which I'm really concerned about. We are trying to transfer him to another school where there's no gun violence nearby, but the transfer's appeal made a bad decision to not approve and accept the appeal. This is BS. My God, what is up with those people? This is BS, y'all. BS. You know what I mean? Transfer Appeals needs to do something about it. They, they also give Ezra another bad option to join Cascade for virtual online learning. That's not going to work. Ezra would rather be at a school where he can see everybody and interact with others. This has gone too far and this is getting me irritated, angry. And... His mom is fed up and the parents, they're fed up too. And some other parents, they don't care anymore. And they, as long as their kids is safe without getting shot, it'll be normal. It'll be way more safe if we can hire more security guards, bring in more patrol and making decisions and change the safety rules to make it safer to prevent the gun violence from happening. We'll see how it is, y'all, because I am still very concerned and scared of how Ezra's first day of school will be. And I'm just saying, y'all, I care about Ezra. I've known him for many years, and he's one of my buddies, y'all. Y'all know what I mean. This is becoming so frustrating. So please, y'all, pray for those students at Garfield High School when they go back to school in September. Keep them in prayers and make sure that the patrol and the security guards in the school know what they're doing. So I wish Israel luck and keep himself safe and much more. So anyway, that's what, that's what happened. That's what happened so far this year and last year at Garfield High School. And the school board needed to do something more about it so that it can prevent from happening. You know what I mean, y'all? <sighs> Anyway, let's go to the next topic, y'all. And I'm going to tell you guys about my recent movie tours. And I'm sure you guys know, I haven't had a chance to tell you, but me and my filmmaking team, we went to Dallas, Texas for the first time for the Oak Cliff Film Festival that happened in June 2024. And we met some amazing filmmakers that did great films and... They're great to network with. They're really cool. I met Ashton and the person who's in charge of Oak Cliff Film Festival. They treat us like celebrities. You know what I mean, y'all? I'm really sorry. I try not to be too excited, but it kind of came back to me, y'all. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you guys how it feels to be a movie star. It's kind of tricky. And it's hard. It's just time to get the hang of. It takes me too much excitement and I'm trying not to get too excited much because people don't like when I get too excited and they get irritated when I became too excited and I don't want to get too excited a lot because that will irritate people and that won't be good. You know what I mean, y'all? You know what I mean? 
That's why I have to do better. That's why I had to keep my excitement down so it doesn't hurt me the most, you know? We just stayed in Texas for like four days and or a week, depending. Me and the team, we stayed at the Magnolia Hotel. And and, and it's all thanks to our people. And you couldn't believe it. The Oak Cliff team helped us by requesting Uber and Lyft for us to where we need to get to from the hotel to other theaters where they screen other people's films. They treat us like celebrities, y'all. My life was blessed when I was in Dallas, Texas, y'all. This is a dream come true, and I'm very blessed. So, yeah, y'all, I enjoy Texas. And I'm going to tell you, it is hot out there. Very hot, very humid in Dallas. I could not stand it. That's why I cannot walk out in the heat. It's like 95, 98 degrees in Dallas at that time. And I couldn't stand the heat, y'all. The heat killed me and Noah, David, and Safai, Sophie. So we decide to catch the Uber that Oak Cliff reserved for us to get to the brewery, the celebrations with Oak Cliff Film Festival. We went to the Texas Theater where our film was been programmed. We have a huge turnout and all the Texans loved our film so much and they want to see more whenever we come back to Texas to do more screenings at independent theaters. Which is great because I'm getting to love Texas more. So yeah, and I just met amazing people and lives in Texas that haven't heard of me, heard of filmmakers and our film. So I told them more and they're interested. Which is, which is really excited. They're excited to see what me and my filmmakers are going to end up next. So, anyway, that's our time in Oak Cliff Film Festival in Dallas, Texas. And I love being at that festival. It's the greatest festival that all of us went to. And I just went to see everyone's films and they turned out great. And that's why, how much I love about Oak Cliff Film Festival. So anyway, let's go to the next topic, and I'm going to tell you guys what happened. I'm going to tell you one thing. My grandmother is in hospice right now, and I'm going to tell you a little info what happened to her last year in October. She was diagnosed with pneumonia, which I found it shocking and sad and heartbreaking. I've known my grandmother when I was little, since I was born. She's the only grandmother that I care about. I love her very much and who always checks on me, checks with me, and much more, and makes sure that everything's okay. <sighs> She's going to spend her final days at hospice before she goes away. And I'm sure y'all are really, really sad about me and my family of what we've been through. I'm just saying, y'all... I'm going to miss grandma and it was great knowing her and thanks to her for having me in her life and, and she cares about me and she knows how much she appreciates me loving her and loving me. So she, my grandmother's proud of me of what I accomplished and I took her to Central Cinema back in September 2023 to see my film Fancy Gets a Mattress. And she loves it. And now they, my family knows that I'm a star. Y'all know that I'm a star. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. So, yeah. Keep my grandmother in your prayers, y'all. And keep me in your prayers, too. Since I've been through a difficult time. It's all because of that. So anyway, y'all, yeah, I'm trying not to be depressed and be heartbreaking. I'm just going to move forward, focus on myself, and help my family out, help myself out, and much more. So anyway, you guys, that's what's been going on recently. And I don't know how my grandmother is, and she's doing fine, and she's, she's the same, and she got a lot smaller. And she's not going to be around much longer. 
You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, just keep me in prayers, y'all. And, and if y'all want to, like, send me something through Venmo or Cash App for my, you know, what I've been through with my grandmother and about her going to pass away, I don't mind. I don't mind y'all sending me money gifts or anything. You can go to my P.O. box and do what you can and let everyone know what happened, what I've been through, and about my grandmother. I don't mind y'all telling your friends about my grandmother is in hospice and I want them to pray for me and do something and see if they can like give me more support. And I don't mind y'all donate me money gifts through Cash App or Venmo. Either way, I don't mind that. All I want from y'all is your prayers. That's it. So anyway, you guys, I appreciate y'all that y'all stick around for me since I've been through a lot and haven't did podcast episodes recently. But also, I have some great news to tell you guys. Me and my old friend Dylan, we're going to start our own podcast series. And we couldn't think of the name yet. We'll come up with the name when we meet each other Sunday. So anyway, stay tuned for that. It'll be under Dylan's new YouTube channel. And him and I will talk about sports like Manor sports and Seahawks sports and other things that's been going on. And y'all be prepared for 67 more days of Election Day. And I know y'all are not into politics and Election Day, but something is really going to be at stake. Democracy is at stake. It's on the ballot. And I want to move forward. We're not going back, y'all. Y'all hear me? We are not going back. We are not going back to the old days where we cannot vote, get our freedom taken away, and be locked up at concentration camps where we didn't do anything wrong. We cannot let this happen, y'all. Y'all know what I mean? So, anyway, we're out of time, and I appreciate y'all listening and watching my latest episode from Fantasy Classic Shot Off series. And I appreciate y'all support, and... Sorry, I get too excited and my voice is acting up, so I need to like keep it down. Y'all know what I mean, how excited I get. <laughs> so just remind me to calm myself down so I can calm down, you know? I appreciate that. So anyway, you guys, if you want to see more of my stuff and hear more of my stuff, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. And hit me up with my appeal box that shows on the description right there and much more. And shout out to Miranda Goes Outside for all the hiking videos she did. And I'd like to invite her to one of my movie screenings. And also, y'all, please stay tuned. I want to have an announcement I want to share with y'all. Fantasy Against the Mattress will be screening at Grand Illusion Cinema again on Thursday, September 19th, and September 21st on Saturday, and September 22nd on Sunday. And the ticket link is on the description right there. And... Me, my team, my film team did a concept trailer of our next upcoming film, Crystal Ball. And I'm playing a different character as Ernie. And someone will be playing as a mummy, which we couldn't find out who. And we'll find out soon when we start filming. So stay tuned for that. And the link for the proof of concept trailer of Crystal Ball is, is in the description right there if you all want to check it out. And our GoFundMe to make our film, Crystal Ball, a magic reality. And share our GoFundMe to your people and let them know what we're raising money for and to make the film happen, Crystal Ball, so we can start shooting next summer. So anyway, you guys, thank you all for listening. Have a fantastic day and listen to my outro and see y'all in the next episode. Hey, what's up, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in for today's episode. If you want to see more of my stuff, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of my updates. And hit me up on my fan mail if you have anything. If you want to send me anything, that shows on the screen right here. So anyway, have a fantastic day. And my model to give you is to be yourself, be inspired, and be respectful. Peace and much love. And see y'all next time.